I can't front, I'm excited. A few months back, a brand by the name of So Icy reached out to the kid and was like, yo, I follow your shit, I really like your content. Would you allow me the opportunity to show you the type of work that we can pull off here? And I'm like, who is this? Then I started going through their Instagram. I see that they're based out of the Diamond District. The dude was super friendly, very up forward, wasn't too brash or upfront or arrogant or whatever. And I'm like, no doubt. I mean, I allow anybody the opportunity as long as you're in an accredited spot, meaning an actual store and not just some dude who made up an Instagram page that all of a sudden is a jeweler and tries to scam people. That has happened in the past. So he's out of the Diamond District, definitely has a dope following and was like, listen, allow me to make you something dope. Let let me take my creative liberties on it and I'll send it to you free of charge. So this item was sent to me. I didn't purchase it. I didn't buy it. And I'm giving y'all this information on full transparency, nor do I really know what it is, what it looked like. I wasn't shown anything. I don't know. So we're going to be checking out the item together because it just landed. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can see what So Icy sent me. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So I see jewelry. Well, first off, thank you very much. This was a beautiful gesture. I don't know what it is, but even you taking the opportunity out, I'm gracious and I'm appreciative and very humble. Now, with that being said, I let my dude at So I see jewelry know, and I'm telling you guys on camera, no matter what's in here, what it is, how it was sent, if it was gifted, I will always give my true and honest opinion, no matter what. And the best part is that you can see it yourself and judge for yourself. So I'm gracious, I'm humble, and he was really receptive to that. He's like, yeah, no doubt. And I like somebody who's confident about their product or their capabilities, because that's what you want from somebody when you're gonna be spending two, three, four hundred dollars or four, five, six thousand dollars, right? So I got the package right here, so we're gonna crack this joint open. I haven't looked at it, we're gonna open it on camera together. Let me just find the slot to bring it, to open it up in. All right, here we go. All right, I'm excited, man. I don't know what's in here. The box is pretty big. Here's the paperwork in here. Let me see what the paperwork has. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, that's dope. Shit. Yo, so, so I see jewelry was cool enough to give you guys 5% off if you mention my name, but you got to call directly. That's fucking sick. Thank you. I'll put the information in the description. So it's soicyjewelry.com. 5% off jewelry when you mention my name must call directly and they do custom pieces as well. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a custom piece. So shout out to them. Here is the package here. As you can see, I haven't opened it and we're gonna be opening it together. I'm hype, I'm nervous, I'm anxious. I don't know what it is. I, I just don't know anything. So, uh, you know, I'm excited. Let's, let's crack this shit open. Enough with the talking and see what's what. Okay, there's a letter in here. I don't know if this is confidential stuff or what. Um, oh, it's an appraisal. Oh, shit. I just saw a picture on the appraisal. What? Oh, fuck. All right, here's the pox. Let's get this shit open real quick. Comes in with another slider style box here. I'm in shock. And I don't know if it's gonna fall out or what. Oh, it's in a package. So it has a little light up box. I know a ton of people love these light up boxes. Clean presentation, not the names all over the place. The piece is in here. So let's take this out. It is wrapped. Wow, it's very securely wrapped. There's a lot of protection going on here. That's what you want. They seem to be such simple like Kuba, you're boosting it. You're really not. This is the type of shit that you want. You don't want something just thrown in a bag. Something it does happen. All right, so it's gonna fall. So I gotta have I'm gonna have to see it first. Holy shit. Wow. So they made my logo in diamonds and enamel. Holy crap. And they put your man's face in the back, dog. Damn, let me soak this in a bit. 
Wow, they fucking killed it. Wow, it looks nice, very nice. I'm checking out the setting. The setting on the diamonds is smooth. I like how they pulled off my face. Let me show you up close shots. So here is the Diamond Cubano emblem. And let me give you the specifications of it. So it's 3.24 carats of yellow gold, 14 carat with natural diamonds. SI to VS2 quality, HI white, round and approximately 38 grams of prong setting. Wow, they put some big rocks in these joints. I see you got the little enamel work here. Now the enamel work has this kind of water type technique, so I'm sure he's trying to go for something like to mirror the pendant that I got done. That's what I'm assuming here that he's going by, because I'm sure if it was just a plain enamel look, it would have just been a solid blue consistency throughout, but it has this kind of watery mark, which probably mirrors the water technique on my GWB pendant, which has the water on the bottom. So that's my assumption on this. Actually, I'm wrong about this enamel technique. It is not a water technique. It says it right on the appraisal and I don't know why it just clicked in my head right now. So I'm looking at the appraisal, which I will show you guys. It says a custom made Cubano diamond pendant with blue lapis enamel. Lapis enamel is actually, I have a fragrance to kind of give you an idea. It's a combination of blue and gold kind of paint in like this swirlish type formation. Let me give you an example. So this isn't the greatest example, but this fragrance is called Blue Lazuli which kind of has the lapis kind of tint to it. So it's kind of this marbleish blue and gold hue, which usually with the enamel is kind of like this painted swirlish ocean-esque looking vibe, which they try to replicate here. It's like this watery bluish vibe with this gold structure here. Basically following the color scheme that I like, so clearly he watches the channel, so I appreciate that and I'm really humbled by it. Cause my EWB pendant has that watery essence, my label itself has that bluish purplish hue. I have a two-tone Submariner that's blue and gold. He really put thought process behind this and you would have thought we sat down and had some sort of consultation. For me, it's the little things that count, especially when they watch my channel and actually support and really watch the content and know that I've always preached that. I like an artistic approach to jewelry, not just slap a bunch of diamonds on something, make it extra blingy, and it doesn't have any real depth or dimension. I like something to stand out, be different, have layers of dimension on it, and this definitely has that, and I can't believe I just didn't click in my head. So here's the appraisal, showing again the carat weight of 3.24 carats, yellow gold, 14 carat, natural diamond, now I don't have a XRF machine to confirm natural diamond, but we will diamond test them. SI to VS2 diamonds, H to I color rounds, prong set, 38 grams. Here's the appraisal. Here's the pendant, appraise that. Six G's, love it, man. That's that lapis background that you're seeing there. And of course, we got the diamond tester to confirm. Now it's gonna tell me if it's diamond or moissanite, but it's not gonna tell me if it's lab made diamonds. Now I'm giving the brand the benefit of the doubt, right? You put natural diamonds on there, I'm assuming that's exactly what you use, but I don't think a brand is dumb enough to lie on paper and then put it on. So obviously I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, but let's go ahead and diamond test them, right? Do the bail. Diamond. Everything checks out perfectly fine. Now I don't know if you guys can tell, it is stamped 14 carat in the back. And here's a closer shot of that lapis kind of swirl blue and gold technique that they tried to use here. I like the artistic approach. It's a lot of cleanness, and this is hard to do a good setting on, especially with the different stone settings and then using big stones here and then little stones to try to hit these little corners. That's a pain in the dick. So clearly, these guys know what they're doing. Again, smooth polish, very nice finish. Let's also confirm the weight, shall we? So we got the scale here at zero. And it's weighing in at 38.4. 0.3 slash four grams. And the diamonds are hitting, I'm not gonna lie. You could have made my face look a little thinner. I don't like the quarantine pounds, but you know. Uh, let me get a chain to put this on. I'm fucking shocked. Wow, I'm stunned. Let me find the chain to put this on. I'm, I'm shocked and stunned and honored. All right, so I got that Cubano link over here on deck. 
should be able to take this. This has a nice fucking weight to it. This is my first logo pendant, man. I, I'm, man, I'm happy as hell. Thank you, so icy. This is very kind of you, very generous, and I'm truly appreciative. Damn, the shit is perfect. Not too big, not too small, not super in your face. It's just the perfect fucking size. This is a beautiful piece and they're showing off the type of work that they're able to pull off and I'm appreciative. Obviously I have a large audience and it's to their benefit, but it's also a really nice gesture to even do something like this because it takes a lot of labor and a lot of pressure to put your items in front of the camera and really try to be as confident as possible. So that takes a lot of balls, so I respect that. Again, they didn't have to do this. I didn't ask for this. This is a very generous gesture and there's nothing else to do. Wait! I didn't see how big it is. Hold on, before I, let me see. Height-wise, minus bail with the curves and shit of my logo. So it's 38 millimeters, which is approximately one and a half inch in height and 1.7 inch across. So there's nothing else to do but hit y'all with the neck profile. Thank you so much to So Icy Jewelry. This was a beautiful gesture. I truly appreciate that. Thank you for giving my audience 5% off custom work or jewelry pieces. I'll put the information in the bio. If you guys are looking for custom work or purchasing some jewelry, clearly So Icy Jewelry is gracious enough to hook your boy up. So please show them love and support because they support your boy and anybody who supports me, I hope my team supports them. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. Biggest in the game, smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you.